Hello, my wonderful violists, and welcome back to another practice with me. This is for the TMEA Region 20 Concert Orchestra. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the first excerpt. This is Evening Dusk, okay? So before we get started, if you have not already listened to this song, it is on YouTube and I will link where you can listen to it exactly. So first thing you need to do is listen to it, okay? If you haven't done it, stop now and go find my link. It's on this video and listen. Okay, now that you've listened to it, we are going to be breaking this excerpt into three sections, okay? The first section is from measure 81 to 88, okay? And then the second section is 89 to 93, and finally, 95 to 98, okay? And I will, in the description below, have a timestamp for each one of those sections so you can go find it and practice accordingly. Okay, so first, tune. Make sure you tune before you start practicing. Now, um, you can do that on your own. I'm not gonna do it in this video again, so like I did in the scale video. Okay, so measures 81, to 88. So this is the beginning of your excerpt. Okay. The time signature for this excerpt is 3-4. So you're only going to have three beats in each measure. Okay. Now you remember our key signature is also located at the beginning of that line. Okay. You have one flat. That's your B flat. Okay. So you're going to be using low two on the D string and on the G string, all right? Let's talk about these notes at the beginning. First, I wanna talk about your bow, okay? These are just quarter notes, they're on two and three. So we have a rest on one, so no, don't play. One, two, three. And these quarter notes do not have any articulation markings or they don't have any staccato dots or lines on them. They're just quarter notes, okay? And we're going to play them nice and connected. So let's practice just our open strings with this bowing. It'll sound kind of like this. So we'll play one, rest. Okay, now you notice how I don't stop my bow. It keeps moving. One, one. And I stop it for the rest. One. the D string now. Okay, ready? Here we go. Rest. Stop. Rest. Rest. Good. Notice also where I am starting these notes. I'm not all the way at the frog and I'm not in the upper half. If you remember what this part of your bow is called here, the balance point is a great place to start here. Our dynamic is mezzo forte, medium loud. So we need to have a little bit of weight in the string, right? And nice and connected notes. Okay, now we're ready to actually look at the notes. Okay, the first four measures, we are alternating between a fourth finger D, so get your hand set up for fourth finger on the G string, fourth finger. We're alternating between this fourth finger D, and then C. Put fourth finger back. Rest. Good. So after we play those first four measures, let's play them together. Let's do them together. And let's do them a little slower. So get your hand set up. One, low two, three, four on the G string. We're gonna play the first four measures together. Are you ready? One and two and three and one and two and go. One. Rest. Rest. Stop. Good. You've just played the first line. Let's go to the second line. We are going to go to the D string now with our low two. Same bowing. We're still connecting our quarter notes around the balance point in the middle. Okay? So here's measure 85. Let's find it. We have open one, two, set up your hand for low two finger pattern. And we're going to play low two. Here we go. Ready? We're going to play low two 
and then the next measure we're going to lift our finger for E and then we're going to go to the G string for our A in measure 87 okay let's go through measure 85 nice and slow one and two and here we go and rest <laughs> change strings your first finger is going to hop over to the G string for the first finger A one that to set it for the next measure. Good. So now we've gone through that slowly. Let's put a tempo together and let's see if we can play the first measure 81 through measure 88 now. Okay, remember low twos, don't lift your bow in the rests and nice connected quarter notes. Okay, let me put my metronome on. And I have it on about 60 now, which is under tempo. Okay, I'll play it, the whole excerpt, up to tempo later. But for now, while we're practicing, slow is good. Okay. Remember, first thing you need to do is set up your hand. So your fourth finger is on the G string, and your third finger is also down, right? Because we have D and C's first. One, two, three, here we go. One. Let's do that much one more time. Ready? Measure 81, okay? One, two, get your hands up. Three, and one, two, go. One. To recap the first section we're only playing on beats two and three we have quarter notes that are connected okay keep your bow on the string during the rests don't forget we have a low two finger pattern okay good let's go on now and let's talk about measure 89 all right so we are going to we have just if you remember what just happened right if you remember, we just in 88, we played one, two, three, lift, set. So we've just lifted and we've just set. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but when I lifted and when I set, my hand went, I set up my high three finger pattern, okay? So after I play measure 88, two, three, lift, set. You have to be quick and set your fingers for high three pattern and set your bow on the string so it doesn't make a sound, okay? So I would recommend that you take some time and just practice playing measure 88, the dotted half note, three beats, one, two, three, lift, and then see if you can plop your fingers and then set, okay? One more time, do it with me now. So here's measure 88. We're gonna play the A for three beats. One, two, three, lift, plop, set. Okay, so I would do that about five times. All right, let's go on now. So let's talk about the notes. Okay, let's go through the notes very slowly in measure 89, 90, 91, and 92. Okay, so we've just lifted our bow. We've just set our fingers in our high three finger pattern, and this is why. We're gonna play fourth finger D in measure 89. Now we have high three, and this high third finger is gonna stay down. Don't lift your high third, third finger until measure 92. Okay, so here's our high three. 
and it stays down. My first finger is going to have to go over to the D string. Now my high third finger should still be down. Fourth finger comes over and I change strings. Fourth finger comes up, I have C sharp. Now my third finger is going to go down to the C natural. And then I lift my third finger and I play a B natural. B natural. Second finger right beside third finger on your tape if you have it. Let's do that again, okay? So we've just played 88. We've set our hand down with our high third finger pattern. We have fourth finger down. Here's 88. We have D, D. Lift your fourth finger. High three. Third finger stays down. First finger comes over. Four. C sharp. Third finger goes down. Two. B natural. Now, if you are having trouble getting your third finger to stay down, practice this without the bow. So right now, set your bow down. This is how you're going to practice it. You've just played measure 88, right? You've just plopped your fingers down in high three position on the G string. You're going to play with left hand only. Four, four, high three. Good. First finger is going to walk over. One. Fourth finger goes down. Four. Three. Third finger moves. Three. Two. Okay. Let's do that again with just the left hand. So one, two, three, four. We've got our high third finger pattern on the G string. Here's measure 89 again, just left hand. D, D, high three. First finger walks over to the D string. E. Fourth finger comes back. Four. C sharp. Third finger moves down. C. Lift your third finger. Second finger. E. Good. Let's practice measure 89 now with a tempo, okay? And our bowing is still the same as it was before, nice and connected. So we've got our high three finger pattern on the G string. 89. Ready? One, two, three, here we go. One. again. Did you notice that I released my bow on the very last note? Okay, let's try to do that this time. Measure 89 again. Set up your high third finger pattern. One, two, three. Here's 89 and one. slowly practice it with left hand only make sure that you feel really comfortable with all, where all the notes are okay good let's go on this is going to be the last section it's only four measures okay so this is measures 95 to 98 okay now take a take a look here at your quarter notes now they're dressed up now they have a dot and a line staccato dot with a tenuta line. So we're going to put just a little bit of space in between those quarter notes and we do that by stopping the bow ever so slightly in between the notes. Okay, so let's try this just with our open G string and I'm going to just play down, up, and I'm going to have a little bit of space in between each note. So I set my bow up and for this I like to be in the middle. So make sure you have a square 
right from your wrist to your contact point to your shoulder to your elbow back to your wrist if you're in the middle of the bow you should have a square with your arm okay so let's on the g string let's just practice these um, quarter notes with dots and lines right so a little bit of space in between each one so it sounds like this down so you can see what I'm actually doing. I played down bow, I stop the bow in the string, and I listen for a beautiful ringing sound. That tells me I stop the bow with just a little bit of extra weight in my first finger. So one more time. Yeah, I over exaggerated that time. Let me try again. Stop. Let's try up bow. Same thing. I'm listening for that ring. And I just stop my bow. I don't need to speed up the bow. It just is moving along the same speed. Good, okay. Now let's look at those notes now that we know how, what our bow is gonna be doing. We have low two, B flat is the first note, okay? So let's find our low two, set up at the middle. And remember, just a little bit of space in between the notes. We do that by stopping the bow just ever so slightly. So we have one, two, three, let's play it. One. 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 Two. That last one's only two beats. Let's do it again. Measure's 95, measure 95. So we've got low two, we're set up at the middle. One and two and three and one and two and go rest one one very nice that last section is not too difficult right i for this one think that you should spend most of your time on the second section so measure 89 to 93. okay now that we've worked out all of the three sections. Um, I remember to keep practicing them nice and slowly, especially that second section. Um, now we're going to go through and we're going to play it from top to bottom without stopping under tempo. So I'm going to put my metronome on 70 beats per minute. Okay, let's see what we can do. Now remember, I have my fingers set up. Third finger is on the C natural, fourth finger is on the D, both on the D, the G string, G string. My bow is gonna be set up around the balance point. I'm gonna play connected quarter notes, nice and full, mezzo forte. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, go, one. tempo. What do you think? We can do it. Okay, so this is 90 beats per minute. Let's get your hands set. Oh, set on the G string. Smooth connected chord notes.
Feel free to go back and practice whatever you need, playing along with me. Um, you know, you don't have to do everything that I do, but I just want to give you some helpful tips for these, okay? I hope that this was helpful, and I will be posting the other excerpts soon. Happy practicing!